welcome back guys i'm uh, working on this bmw e88 i think it is uh, it's the older models uh, e81 e82 e87 e88 e90 e91 92 uh, they're all the same to be fair they're all the same this is the uh, 118i the two liter petrol um, and what's happened here is i'll show you so it takes a bit of time for it to turn on. Sometimes it cranks and cranks until it turns on. And it's come back as a crankshaft uh, sensor. Um, so what happens is when the engine warms up and it gets to a certain degree, it will start playing up and not work right. So in this case, what's gonna happen is, um, it's just gonna crank, crank about six or seven times, then it's gonna turn on. So what we're gonna do is rip it apart and get to the sensor, change it and hopefully eliminate this uh, fault here you'll also get this transmission as well with it um, and the dynamic stability control as well they're all absent but we'll dig in in a second and hopefully see what we can so, do the crankshaft sensor obviously it's it's at the bottom of the starter motor so you'll have to do is take off all these shift this out of the way and uh, you can also get into it from the bottom but it's a bit of a ball ache to reach around you've got to like go all the way up and reach around um in this case what we're going to do is undo the manifolds here undo the air filter take this out um pull it to the side but i highly recommend we remove this first because it's easier to get into after i have done all these four bolts this comes off so we'll just put this here for the time being and then we'll dig in, take this top off take as well. Take both sides of these off, and you can see a screw there. And um, there's another screw on the other side as well. And I'm just putting them back, so I don't forget the two screws. These are the sensors, comes off these, unhook them, both sides, and then just start lifting and kind of play with it. And make sure as well, you take this off. Okay, so there we go, now that comes off. And this just comes off right at the top. So now, put that there, and here you go. A lot easier to work with, a lot easier, as you can see, getting through the bolts. Um, there you I go. I've done them, uh, them bolts. They should just come out like this. Um, so, put them in there, and then I've undone this. I'm gonna take it off. You don't really need to, but I'd like to take it off just to be safe, you know, sometimes you lean over it, you crack it. So in this case, I'm gonna take it all off um, so it's easier to work with and get to. So take this off, squeeze these two, pull it away, this, I've undone this, and it should just literally just pop out. I'll have to use both hands, obviously, in this case. Yeah, it's out, it's a lot easier to get into and stuff now. So what we're gonna do, right, sure. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm gonna have a look and see what the screw goes. Guys, are. this is quite sealed to that. You think there's another screw, but there isn't. So just pull onto it, it'll move like that. And then this bottom bit's stuck. So what you need to do is undo this from there. I've just pulled it there and there's a little, as you can see, just there, size 13 if I'm not wrong. Guys, um, <coughs> I'm gonna have to say I've been at it for a good 20 minutes. Besides that screw, there's another one at the back of it, and God almighty, it's so hard. I've had to use all this. So I've had to use all this just to get into it. You can see the length, and that's a set there. I've got another set here. I tried on the big set, but obviously it won't work because um, it's quite a tight space. These are thinner. So, so far so good. We're going to get cracking and see what else we need. It's really it. impossible to lift this up. It's so hard. I thought it might be something else holding it, but it's not. This, obviously, is to do with that there as you can see there's another one on the other side which i'm gonna have to get to in a second once that's off it should be a bit more loose because right now it's like limited what you can do mm -hmm. so that here we go guys um been out here for about 40 minutes um <clears throat> so what happened was everything was off don't forget to take that sensor off as well without breaking it um this one here and then there's that Make sure you don't mess the washer up on there. So them two screws undo it. And finally, there's the crankshaft sensor there. It is a ball ache, but you know what? We've got to it. So this, you see the sensor. So jobs are good in, but please make sure nothing goes down that. So, so guys, yeah. as you can see, I have disconnected it. Obviously it won't 
kind of put it on there until I kind of crank the engine, but I'm not going to do it at this moment in time. But that's what you kind of get. Uh, all them three lights, obviously, um, once you've got the crankshaft sensor. Now, if I plug it back in and I clear it, I hope it does remove it, but sometimes it may not because of all the other sensors, but we'll just give it a try. Plug it back in there. It Let's looks like it hasn't, um, but we will change that because every time it warms up or... Or it could just happen at, at, at any time really. So we'll do um, We'll change it and hopefully put it all back together 